this, that was funny. Oh my goodness. That looks delicious. I cannot wait to taste it. Excuse me. Hi. I didn't mean to overhear your conversation, but I kind of heard you were talking to your manager and you were complaining to him or her about how everyone is getting famous and when is your time is coming and you want to be famous. You were here for all this time. Now, first of all, before I continue, when you're talking about everyone, you're just talking about one person, right? Yes, I know, one person. I think that's the most dangerous thing to do. Don't look at what somebody else is doing. Keep focus, your eyes, and what you love to do. Because the one thing I did love that what you said to your manager was that you loved your craft, you loved your acting, and so you are in the right place because everyone in here loves their craft. They are not just actors in this room. You have directors, you have producers, and you have many different people in here just just love your craft and entertainment oh, I love this I love this gathering and we tell stories and we tell each other we talk to each other about stories and do stuff to uplift each other and make each other feel good to go out there and continue again focus on what they love and I want to tell you a story I remember when I came here to Hollywood and I got in here and I was loving my craft and love acting on my heart and soul and when I walked in here it was like yes but then I got distracted I got distracted by this one person I saw keep getting stuff time after time at a time and I wanted to be famous it was not no longer I want acting I want to be famous so I did everything so I could be famous I changed my nose, I changed my lip, I changed my appearance, I lose a lot of weight. I did everything that I could be famous. And it worked. <laughs> it just did. It doesn't work for everyone, but it actually worked for me. And at the end of the day, when I look in that mirror, I didn't like what I see. I hated that person. I hated that person so much that I never went to see the one person I loved so much, my mom. My mom is my everything. But I didn't think she would be approved of the way how I looked. Although she saw me in the cameras and saw me in the TV, she would not be approved of the way how I looked because that's how bad I felt about myself so I never went to see her I spoke to her every day on the phone constantly she got real sick and I was busy with work so I couldn't go see her and then I had obligations and I couldn't go to see her and it kept going over and over and over and over again and she died That was the worst thing that I could. Oh. And then when she died, I didn't go to her funeral. Because I thought I didn't deserve to. <laughs> my mom, <sighs> she is my everything. A month after she died, I hit rock bottom. And I couldn't breathe. My mom, she would, one thing she would always do when I was, when I speak to her, she would talk to me about Jesus. Jesus this, Jesus that, Jesus saved, Jesus loved me. One time she did it so much, I said, Mom, I don't want to talk about this crap. I don't care. I think I did that because I knew what it meant. I had this big, perverse, I, would, I had this big, crazy lifestyle, and I loved it, that lifestyle. And I didn't want to hear what she was telling me about him. 
And as soon as I told her I don't want to stay about a crap, she literally, I mean, my mother stood silent on that phone for a minute. And I knew she was next to me. She would smack the crap out of me. And she said, what did you just say? And I was like, what did I just do? And I go, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But Jesus has never done anything for me, Mom. And I really don't want to talk about it. And she she said, I'll talk to you later. And she hanged up. She took me a while for me to talk to her because... Not because I would not allow her to talk about Jesus. Because I was rude to her. And... My mom... She always, always was there. She cheered me on when I was, was when I was sad. I call her, talk to her. She uplift me when I was down. She uplift me. And the one time she needed me, I wasn't there for her. That really, really took a toll on me. And so that morning, one morning, I got up off my phone and left them in the house I took a book of my mother and I took a picture of her and snuck out of my house and I went to a hotel I didn't have any intention to hurt myself and I could just hear my mother voice in my head if you ever need anything just remember God loves you and he will help you. I just hear that voice in the back of her, my head, her head. And my head, not her head, I'm sorry, my head. And I, I, um, <sighs> that's okay. And so, I said, God, my mom says that you could help me. I am so sorry for all the bad things I've done. I'm sorry for hurting my mom. I miss her so much. She says, you're real. And if you're real, please help me. And because I can't do this without you. <laughs> funny because as soon as she says that this amp on my phone popped up from a website and he says God loves me don't hurt yourself call this hot man if you need help I thought that was kind of a creepy but I called the hot man and they spoke to me I gave my heart to God and I went home. I sold my house. And I walked away from fame. And I never looked back. I ever miss fame. Excuse me. No, I don't. One second. Yeah, I still act. I, I act in, I still act in a lot of stuff. I started my own production company, a Christian production company. And I am, I help and we do a lot of stuff and all that. So I know. I'm sorry to all that getting into the conversation. I never told you who I am. First of all, I'm sorry, what's your name? Carly. <laughs> wow. Who? My mom's name was Carly. Carly what? Carly Roberts. 
Robinson. I'm sorry, Carly Robinson. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I was gonna say, ah, oh, you sound like something else, but Carly Robinson. I got you. My name is Rose. Rose Brown. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh, stop. <laughs> wow. You make me feel good. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's it's a pleasure to meet you too. It's, don't don't don't. I I am honored. I'm truly honored to talk to you, and I'm really really blessed to help you. So don't don't don't. No, I never stopped. I still had. I know. They always said, do not become a Rose Roberts. Roberts. Brown, I'm sorry. I'm calling myself your name. They always says, do not become a Rose Brown. I don't know why, but... Oh no, I didn't get lost in one of those cuckoo cuckoo things like they said. I just became a Christian. And that's all and I do everything now for God. Well now I told you my story. Let's get to let me ask you some couple questions about yourself. 